Hello and welcome to Managing Spaces with ID8 Bimling presentation. In this video, we will look at the workflow related to effectively managing spaces in the Revit model using ID8 Bimlink and the additional functionality associated with it. Let's go ahead and take a look at this workflow. In Revit, once you have linked in the architectural file within your project, spaces need to be created first in order to accomplish an accurate heating and cooling load analysis. Spaces are defined by the same elements that define a room from your architectural link model. Hence, you want to make sure that your link file is set to room bounding before going about placing spaces. In this project, I have linked in the architectural file and set the constraint to room bounding. The easiest way to define spaces would be to use the out of the box play spaces automatically tool within Revit. While this does save you time, all the spaces that are created come in as occupiable, which means that it requires you to do the additional work of verifying every single space if it really is occupiable or not and then unchecking this option if it is not an occupiable space. This is a time consuming task especially when working on large projects. Also, I want to make sure that the space names and numbers match the architectural room names and numbers. Additionally, I also want to be able to change the space type from default building to the appropriate setting based on the space type it actually is without having to go to the space schedule and changing each space type individually. Doing this helps me save time as I can change multiple parameters at the same time. Let's now take a look within BIMLink and see how we can approach this issue. In order to do that, I will go to the help menu and the how to section. And one of them is how to assign space types. There are instructions on how to do this, but the key thing here is that there is an Excel file that is pre-built and ready to go. So I will go ahead and copy this link and paste it in Windows Explorer and we'll find that space type assignments file. This is the actual out of the box 126 different space types that are in the Revit model from the generic building. I will make a copy of this template file and put it in our specific office folder location. I will then load MEP sample link and select space type assignment link. I will now add some additional properties to this based on my requirement and arrange them in the order that I want. I will now duplicate this link, rename it and save the link definition so that I can use this link again if I want to use it in the future. I will now export this link and save it to the Excel file that we just copied and override this worksheet. In the number column, I will apply the formula to match the room number. I will then come to the name column and apply the same formula to match the room name. Now we have a tab within the spreadsheet which says space types. I can simply go ahead and select this list and in the name box we have space types. The next thing that I will do is come into this list and select all the rows. Go to data tab, data validation, allow list, source equals space types. Now very easily I can assign the appropriate space type from this drop down. Notice that I have some storage spaces that are set to occupiable. Typically storage spaces are non-occupiable spaces so I'm going to change the value to false. It could be true false, one zero, yes or no. Once I have made my changes all I have to do now is import this information back into Revit. I will go back to BIMLink, browse to my Excel file and import it. Now in the preview, I can very easily see all the changes without any errors or warnings and hit import to accept my changes. You can also see in my space schedule that all the space types have been assigned automatically. ID8 is an authorized Autodesk developer with over 25 years of experience. 
For more information, visit us at idsoftware.com forward slash ideatebimlink.